Now, as we do so many weeks here at The Daily Dose, we need to get to our Daily Dose top five. So when you remember the year 2022, what are you going to remember? And maybe more importantly, when you remember the year 2022 in sports, what are you going to remember? Maybe it is the Georgia Bulldogs winning their first college football title since, what, 1980? Or maybe it's the Los Angeles Rams winning the Super Bowl by beating the Cincinnati Bengals. That game was a lot closer than people might think. Or maybe it's the Kansas Jayhawks winning men's March Madness. I know for me, one thing I'm going to remember are my Colorado Avalanche winning the Stanley Cup. That was a lot of fun. But maybe you're going to remember the Golden State Warriors winning the NBA title. Or even the Houston Astros winning the World Series. But what is it that you are going to remember from the past year in sports? Well, for us here at The Daily Dose, here are some of the stories that we are definitely going to remember. We are going to count down our Daily Dose top five most memorable sports moments of 2022. Let's start off at number five. And this one is more recent, but it goes back a little ways. Because back on February 17th, 2022, WNBA player Brittany Griner was detained and arrested on smuggling charges by Russian customs officials after cartridges containing less than a gram of medically prescribed hash oil were found in her luggage. Now, Griner had been playing basketball with the Russian Premier League during the WNBA offseason, and Russian officials grabbed her. Her trial began on July 1st, and she actually pled guilty to the charges because the alternative was going to mean she's going to be locked up for quite a while. On August 4th, she was sentenced to nine years in prison. In November 2022, Griner was transferred to the Russian penal colony IK-2, which they say is one of the rougher ones. U.S. officials stated that she was wrongfully detained. Now, I suppose we can argue about that. You go into another country, you break their laws, you kind of got to live with what you get. However, on December 8th, Griner was released in a prisoner exchange for Russian arms dealer Victor Bau, nicknamed, yeah, the Merchant of Death. Now, let's be honest. None of us care about the WNBA. But this was a world story. And when you think about this trade, if you will, it was also probably the worst trade of the year in terms of value. And you know I'm a Bronco fan. So that's saying something after what we've been going through lately. But the Brittany Griner story, no, that's a memorable story. And it comes in today at number five. We move on to number four. And you know, one of the biggest thing in sports that I always look back at, and one of the things we always remember, it just burns itself in your memory, are upsets. And we had plenty of upsets in 2022. And to me, Upsets are maybe the most fun thing in the world of sports because sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. And if you were writing a movie or a novel, who would have had St. Peter's beating Kentucky in March Madness? No one, because no one would believe it. Remember, the Cincinnati Bengals were down 21 to three on the road in Kansas City, came back to beat the Chiefs and go on to the Super Bowl. The San Diego Padres actually eliminated the loaded Los Angeles Dodgers. But then the Padres were knocked out themselves by the Philadelphia Phillies. We love sports for the upsets. And we had a number of upsets over this past year. That is definitely going to be one of the things that I remember from 2022. And upsets coming at number four. We move on to number three. And I hate to say this because I hate looking at the negative all the time. Like the negative is kind of funny to me, but I hate looking at the negative, but I do believe right around this time, 2022, we're probably going to look back and say that was the downfall of both Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. I mean, Bill has been struggling since Tom left, but this year we've really seen Tom Brady struggle and not just on the field. His personal life is a whole nother thing because we know he's going through the divorce There's a lot of dirt getting slung, but this is the first time 
that I've really looked at Tom Brady and said, no, I think he might be done. I think he is no longer capable of carrying a team like he could. And I know he doesn't have much help down in Tampa. He doesn't have an offensive line. He doesn't have Rob Gronkowski to bail him out. And there's talk maybe he'll come back and maybe he will. But you're starting to see Tom Brady miss throws that he never misses. And then you have Bill Belichick, who we've seen struggle since Brady left. But did you ever think you'd see a Bill Belichick coach team throw a game away like the Patriots did against the Raiders? I thought they were smarter than that. We're always told about the Patriot way. They're way too wise to be making a dumb move like that. And yet, here we are. So, I know we're going to remember a number of things from 2022, but one of the things I'm going to remember is we're really starting to see that whole Brady-Belichick thing slip and slide backward. And they don't look like they're on the top of their game like they used to be for so many years. They won so much. And, you know, we can all look at it and say, hey, Brady's better without Belichick. And Belichick never. You know what? They were really good together. I think that's the bottom line of this whole story. But the whole Tom Brady, Bill Belichick thing, it comes in for me at number three. We move on to number two. And I know this one is recency bias, and I'll willingly admit that. But I will remember that insane Qatar World Cup final where Argentina beat France and Lionel Messi finally got his World Cup title. And that comes into date number two because that game was so unpredictable. It was so amazing. About the time you thought we had it figured out, okay, Argentina is going to win this thing, finally. Wait, France is going to win this thing. No, Argentina is going to win. No, France is going to... It kept going back and forth and back and forth. Not only... Did we finally get Argentina to get the win? But you see an all-time great performance from Lionel Messi and kind of cement his legacy and put his name in with the all-time greats. And one thing about Messi, because we look at his career and we say, well, he's never won the World Cup. He doesn't get to play in it every year. You play in it every four years. And for that reason, what Lionel Messi did in the World Cup this year was absolutely incredible. That was a storybook ending For Messi, for Argentina, and for their fans, the World Cup final comes in today at number two. So we arrive at the number one most memorable sports moment from 2022. And it's a lot of little moments for me. But they're all really big. Because one thing I think we will remember from the year 2022 is just the number of all-time greats we are having retire. We are having so many of the best ever step away from the game. They're moving on. They are going on to that next stage in their life. And as a result, there's going to be a little bit of a void. And that next group is going to have to step up their game. Think about it. Lionel Messi, most likely done. Maybe he stays a little bit. But what about guys like Sean White? Says he's done with the Olympics. Albert Pujols in baseball. Roger Federer and Serena Williams in tennis. I mean, two of the best ever. Maybe the best ever. Two of the best ever. In football, you had Drew Brees. You had Ben Roethlisberger. Those are guys that have their names all over the history books. And in college basketball, you had Long Kruger. You had Jay Wright. And you had Mike Krzyzewski. Hanging it up. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty impactful. And so while we look back at 22 and we remember some upsets and we remember some big games, we remember, you know, some teams stepping up and some maybe going backward. One of the things that will definitely stand out to me is just the big names that we have seen retire this year. And, you know, it's always hard to be the one after the great one. Maybe a couple down the road, you can step in and go, oh, yeah, I kind of remember him. Yeah, he was really good back in the day, but now you're really good. When you have to fill those shoes, and those shoes are that big, yeah, that can be very, very daunting. It will be interesting to see who now is going to be that next round of great coaches, that next round of great quarterbacks, that next round of great tennis players, great baseball players, great soccer players, that is going to take that title and say, okay, now I'm at the top of my game. We saw a lot of great ones step down in 2022, and that to me is very very memorable. 
Okay, YouTube, make sure you go over and you check out the rest of the podcast because this week on The Daily Dose, we are looking back at some of the amazing figures in sports that we have lost over the past year. And it's not like a memorial podcast or anything sad like that. It's just letting you know because we know the news many times just kind of skims over the sports stars. So make sure you go over and check out the rest of the podcast. I will leave a link here in the comments on YouTube for you. Hope you all are doing well. I will see you all next Wednesday. Have a great week and have a very happy and a very safe New Year.